Okay, so when you first start the game, you're gonna have an option in your settings, arm lock on, and you're gonna have throttle okay, and you're gonna have third person. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few things here. All right, so when you start the game, this is how you're gonna be introduced. Now, if you notice, if you move your mech left and right, you only have one cursor, that right in the middle of your screen where my blazes are, right? Now, first thing you need to do is you need to hit F4 to get back in your mech. I turn this off, so I uncheck start in third person. All right, let me go and show you what throttle decay is. So throttle decay is when you hit W and you start moving forward, if I let go of it, no hands, the mech will automatically stop. A lot of actually people that use this, same thing with reverse. They just sort of, it's a little bit easier to use, they can move. I have just, I've got so used to just hitting X uh, to stop my mech. So right now I let go, the mech will automatically come to a stop. It's actually quite nice. Um, a lot of light mech pilots and some, it depends on the mech, um, use it. I turn it off, but that's just me. I actually know a lot of people that leave it on. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the arm lock. As you can see here, I only have one reticle. Well, you can actually change that. Um, I'm going to hold down shift. So this is with arm lock on. If I hold down left shift, you'll notice I actually have dual reticles now. So what I mean by this is I'm actually going to hold D and left shift. I can actually aim independently with my arms here. I'm actually going to fire anywhere I want to. Now, if you'll notice, if I fire my on my right uh, side where my weapons are, you'll notice they're sort of split by a line here. All right, I've got this three medium pulse on the top and it's sort of separated from the others. Well, that means those are my tor torso mounted weapons. If I fire them, you notice where my circle reticle is, they go directly front. So that's what that means. That means basically you can actually aim independently with your arms. So if you have a target over here and you're trying to shield, I can actually shoot over here. Well, I may actually so that's what that is. So, I would recommend turning that off once you get the hang of things. Now here's the difference. Once you turn it off, you'll notice that when I'm falling around, your torso always tries to catch up to your arms, right, to a limit. See how it's hit its uh, pitch limit there. It can't go any higher on pitch, right, or down low, or maybe even to the left here. So that means if I fire my arms, but then I fire my torso, you see there's two different. But here's the nice thing about it all, um, is if I hold left shift now, it'll automatically snap. See here, we're all the way up here. If I hit left shift, boom, snaps my arms down to the reticle. This is actually really helpful, like when you're engaging target, engaging a target, and you wanna make an alpha strike on a target. Like if, I'm, if I've lined up a shot, but I'm you know, doing this with my arms or turning, if I hit just left shift, I can now alpha in one place. So, case in point, engaging target, maybe I'm doing this or whatever, I'm engaging. I hit left shift, now I've got an alpha, I can move on. This is actually really helpful too, because I can't demonstrate in fourth per, or third person view, but your arms are actually moving to help shield and stuff like that. So, that is actually something to check out if you haven't. And that's pretty much the difference. An experienced pilot will use dual reticles. I like having the dual reticles. You'll notice that, especially with this setup, if I've got my target to the right and my left torso is really messed up, I'm gonna aim over here, I can take a shot. Now it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to actually engage me, right? I mean, I'm twisted right now. My arms are, but it's a lot harder to hit my left torso than this. Now on the flip side, again, see how I can aim down even though if I fired, so it allows you to do maneuvers like that as well. So that is basically the things that a new player coming into the game is going to see. They're gonna see fourth person, or th fourth person, third person. Um, do I recommend uh, third person view to, to new players? I recommend it for you hopping into into the training grounds. Right now we're in training grounds, which means no one's firing at you. You can sort of understand, okay, if I hit throttle forward, I have also got my mouse control for my torso. They're independent. This isn't going to control your torso at all. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, hit F4, I would recommend turning it off just so you don't, it's not a crutch. Now, one thing to note also to sort of help a new player out is if you hit the button X, 
uh, your mech will automatically come to a stop. So here we go, we're at full speed. If I hit X, it's gonna drop my speed automatically down. That's the difference, I guess, between like if you have uh, throttle decay on, you don't even have to worry about that. You just let go of the W or S key. But a lot of the times when I'm engaging and I'm running around, uh, you'll see me come to a complete stop. I, I just hit X, that's all it is. I'm just so used to it that, you know, that's just part of my uh, just sort of muscle memory, if you will. So another uh, cool button you can use as a new player is C. So right now I'm torso twisted off to the left uh, from where my orientation, my legs are. Now another thing you can use is actually your mini map here. It, I can't look down, but uh, if you look at your mini map, you'll have these dotted lines in front of you. That's your orientation of your legs. That V that's coming out is the orientation of your torso and your field of view. Um, if I hit C, it automatically centers my my torso to my legs. This is actually really nice. Um, if I'm shooting this way and I want to shield really quick, you don't even have to torso twist. You can just hit C to help you. There's also another button that you can do where it's complete opposite, or is it uh, brings your legs towards the direction you're looking. Uh, that is F. Um, so like right now, I'm running. I can literally pilot just using. It's a good demonstration here. Hit F. You can see my legs turn where my torso is looking. And then the opposite, I hit C and it corrects where uh, my legs to my torso and, and vice versa. So these are tools that for a new player, those are the type of things just sort of getting used to. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, why is uh, third person uh, aim so horrible? It's actually, there's a twofold reason. One, it's to negate any possibility of you getting an advantage in third person. Right now, I can see more of the screen in third person. That could easily be used, and some people might even say it can still be abused right now, right now and even still in group play. But here's the difference is, that delay from going from third person back into is enough of a, of a crux, if you will, where it's not really a thing plus you're aiming if it was just as easy to aim in third person people would be in that because it gives you a wider field of view that's actually something they did that a lot of people at the time were worried about that they actually implemented like everyone was happy with third person is not an issue and even if you're playing in like community warfare and stuff you can't go third person anyway so um Anyways, those are my tips for a new player coming in as far as controls and stuff like that. Um, I also ta toggle my zoom. You notice when you first start out, you're going to have two zoom modes, right? And the magnif magnification, if you look right where the reticle is and down to the right, you'll see two times X. That's actually your magnification. Um, you can actually change that. So it goes instead of from like two zooms, that automatically goes to your max zoom. And I do that just by going down here. I've remapped it to toggle max zoom level. That's actually quite nice. So I don't have that, I have to zoom in and zoom all the way in to zoom back out. It's just boom to my max, boom back in. And it makes life a lot easier. So for a new player, play in first person view. It's gonna make you better. And it's okay to hop into third person view. I don't know, I do it just to sort of watch my mech. Um, there has been a time or two where maybe I'll use it for terrain and I'll demonstrate. So if I'm coming up here and I'm right at this corner and maybe I pick up on seismic that there's a mech right on the other side. Does that really give you much of a view? Let's, let's, let's see this. Maybe just a tiny bit. Like I can, I, I just get barely a little bit more but they can also see your UAV. So just keep that in mind. Um, you'll see it's almost like this little drone that's fallen behind their mech. You can't shoot it down. Um, they're invincible, magic. But um, that is one thing. So uh, anyways, I just wanted to basically go through that. I'll highlight this and put it up on our YouTube channel, maybe even make a uh, uh, something for new players or whatever. But those things are drastically important for a new player to understand. So. I'll go ahead and hop out of... Uh, another thing, actually, before we get off here, is the fact of, if you are a new player, hop in the training grounds, test out your heat limits. Right now, I can literally say, okay, I can alpha, two, three, 
four, five, six. I can alpha six times continuously with this build before I shut down. Things like that are, are easy to where you can make like just in your in your head or even if you have to talk about it, just like one, two, three, four, five, cool, you know, one, two, cool. Maybe I'm all the way down. Now I can say, all right, one, two, three, four, and then five, and I cool off. I know also that I can fire my weapon groups, let's just say the three medium pulse lasers, if I wait till my heat goes all the way down. It's a good way of measuring how much heat you're actually making. Um, so, IE, and this also depends on the map, just keep that in mind. But I guess that's the thing is you can actually drop on these maps ahead of time and you already know. Uh, so right now we're at zero movement and I can fire and it goes up to 14% heat. So on the move though, I'm, a, I'm gonna be at 3% heat, so when I fire, it goes up to 17, 18%. So you know on the move, if I'm around, let's say 80% heat, I can actually alpha. If I'm at 84 or 85 and I fire three medium pulse lasers, I'm gonna shut down. So there are things that you can do as a player to make yourself better. And hopping in the training grounds, I, so many people don't utilize this tool, uh, you know. You can practice on aiming where to aim on a mech. I mean, hop up to this cataphract. All right, so let's let's look in the top right where the damage modifier is. I'm just gonna drag. All right, so obviously there's a hitbox there. If I shoot here, that's the torso. Now I got damage transfer. What about the cockpit? Where the hell's the cockpit? Is it this window? Nope, that's the CT. Is it that? Nope. What about this middle one? Yep, there's the head. What about this top part? Nope, that's the CT. Bottom is the CT. So you literally have to aim right in the middle to hit the head. Those are things you may not know. Same thing, if I'm gonna shoot here, it's gonna be hitting the center torso. What about the pelvis? CT. What about uh, over here? That's the leg. These are the type of things that, as a new player, um, you know, come in really handy. Um, also, you know, weapon firing groups. You'll see that I have all my my arm-mounted weapons in one group, in group two, down to the bottom right. I do this so again I can aim these independently uh, and a little bit more accurately then I have the torso mana ones by their group. Then I have the three in chain fire because I know at certain points in time in combat I'm going to be pushing the heat envelope that I need to chain fire. So again just hopping in here utilizing the tools that are available. Uh, I know a lot of people are always asking how can I improve? How do you, how do you improve your aiming? Um, now granted aiming at stationary targets isn't the best practice, but maybe it's you know practice enough to where it can teach you how to use your center and you know get your shots off and torso twisting. Just think about that. Every single time you fire, being able to torso twist or I'm gonna hold the duration and then I'm gonna twist, you know, just practicing that. Um, those are the type of things if this guy, if I'm engaging him and he turns to engage me, I can shield with my right because I have nothing in my right torso or my arm. They're literally there to shield. So when I'm engaging, I'm, I'm firing, twisting, firing, twisting. And these are the type of things, again, you'll learn as you move forward. Um, but you'll, you'll see experienced players do this to maximize their potential. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. And again, I'll create a highlight for you guys. And uh, I would definitely... If you have any more questions, I'll try to uh, answer them the best I can. So 